Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I just wanted to first say thanks to all of my new followers or subscribers. Um, I think I've gotten like 10 or more since I posted my last tour video. So I really appreciate you guys. And if you're new here, leave me this emoji down in the comments. So I kind of see who is new because some of the subscribers like don't show up. Like I can't see who you are, your names anyways. Um, it just like has the number, but some subscribers gives me a notification. I don't really know what that's about. But my name is Emma, Emma's Plant Wonderland, obviously my name is Emma. Um, and this is gonna be my dining room houseplant tour. So first I'm just gonna give you guys kind of an overview. Normally here is where I sit to like make some of my videos. And then I have some more plants over here below Frida. And there is the living room and all of its hot mess of the glory over there. So if you guys haven't seen my living room tour, definitely go and check that out. I will leave it linked down below. But let's just start over here. So first we have this string of hearts. I have a couple different string of hearts, uh, but this one is the only one that I have downstairs. It is growing quite long. So I have it like wrapped around this, uh, what are you called? Pink something. Um, to kind of keep it raised up from so the dog doesn't like get at it. But I think I need to figure something else out with it. I don't want to cut it because it's so long. It's like two. Okay, so for one, I bought a really crappy house and all of the rooms are being remodeled slowly but surely. And we just haven't been super productive this year um, or this summer. So I don't have, this room isn't finished. But I kind of want to leave this space open because I'm a crazy plant person and had this marvelous idea to put a plant there. And so I could like get long boxes and put them in there and then have the plants trail down, at least on the side, so people could still walk in the middle. I don't know. It's kind of an idea. But that's where my string of hearts is living currently. And then here I have like propagation vessels that I tried to do like a DIY thing with. And for some reason, all of these are still intact. I mean, the plants are dead, but <laughs> that's aside the point. All of the like DIY things. So I just took like a C bracket. I don't know what this is called. It has three force on it. I don't know if that means anything to you. And then I got these glass water vessels, propagation vessels, beakers, whatever you want to call them, uh, off Amazon. And then I put hot glue on the side so they wouldn't slip through the thing there. And all of these plants on this side, all of the vessels have, the hot glue has not fallen off. But if you come over here, all of them besides one, have crumbled. So I still have the glass jars. I just need to redo the hot glue. And this is just like a Marble Queen cutting or something with wonky leaves. Okay, we'll come back over here. So this is just a green heart leaf plant that's been in water for months. And here is Nanook. I feel like it's a Nanook. Nanook. Something. It's really cute and pretty. And here is just a sad Brazil cutting that I really just need to throw away. And here is some wandering dude. I'm not even showing you. Some wandering dude that's just chilling and leashes and blankets. Yay. And continuing with the unfinished book. So then right next to that, I have my Marble Queen Pothos that I just have like in this basket DIY situation. 
inspired by Harley G. And this guy is long and lush. He was super long when I bought it, but I have taken some cuttings. So there are some all green leaves and some all variegated. I guess not all white, but got some good variegation still in here. And a lot of dead leaves that I have yet to prune off. And right below that is my big, beautiful, also kind of sad philodendron jungle boogie. This guy, I don't know, he had some sort of, what is it called? So I think he had something like copper spot or something, which is like a bacterial thing. And then also I skipped like four waterings because I'm lazy and the plant it just suffered, you know, from that. But it is pushing out new leaves and um, it's doing okay. I have propagated this guy as you saw one of the babies in the other video. And then right below that is kind of a hot mess of a situation. My whole plant journey is a hot mess. So if you don't want like real life, this is not the channel for you. Um, <laughs> like I don't, this isn't like pristine uh, Instagram worthy plants. This is just real life. So here is a green uh, spider plant that was gifted to me. And here is another baby, what are you? Silver Sword, that's the name. And here is a Skindapsis Moonlight. And here is a sad rehab uh, Monstera Thai constellation that I just put in water. Okay, sorry, I had to put my hair up. So right here is just like my coat rack situation. My lovely brother and roommate dug it out of a barn for me. So it's pretty cool. It's on wheels. Sorry, the mess, but it's on wheels and it, yeah. So I just have some plants hanging on it instead of coats. <laughs> here is just some monster, or no, here. What are you? Philodendron Mikan's cuttings. They're not looking the best because they were infested with thrips. I did have a little bit of a th thrip problem, but I haven't seen one. I haven't seen a baby or an adult one in a month, so that's good. Um, here is a goldfish plant, um, but it's a little bit different. Like the here's this like kind of a here's a spent flower. They're kind of more purpley red. There's another one. So it's not like the yellow. So it's not like the yellow goldfish plant and the leaves are a little bit darker of color and they have like maroon petioles and um, yeah, so it just here, there's some dead parts. I don't honestly do the best with like lipsticks plants in the past or goldfish plants in the past. But this one I've had for quite a while and it seems to be doing okay. There's some new growth. Also, there's a spider living somewhere in one of these plants. Not like spider mites, but like here, can you see those spider webs? Yes, you can. So, I don't know. I haven't seen it to kill it or remove it, but they eat bugs, right? So if they eat thrips, <laughs> I might just be like stretching a little bit, but it doesn't seem to bother me. And I'm then prepared for the spooky season without even having to decorate. Right next to that is my Hoya Chelsea in a basket that I've had for quite a while. It's doing good. It's got new growth. I've taken cuttings. It's really nice. I love the heart-shaped leaves. But some of them kind of come out weird. So I don't know. Here is a Hoya Carnosa Splash. Or no, Hoya Pubicalic Splash. 
that guy is doing great. He is just tendriling. I can't talk. Tendriling a lot. Here's a tendril. No leaves. So, I don't know. He's kind of dry, though. He probably needs a water. All right next to that is my Hoya Crimson Queen. That's long and luscious. Like, all of this growth is coming from one stem up here. It's, I recently got this one and it is, I mean recently as in the last couple of months and it is starting to grow already. So that's cool. The nice pink new growth. And right next to that is a Skindapsis Pictus Argerius. Don't quote me on that. Um, yeah, don't quote me on that, but it's like the big skindapsis, like the big leaf one. I found this at Hy-Vee for $20, and I thought it was a good steal. I don't think it's getting enough light here, though. It is kind of starting to uh, run. <laughs> They're shooting out runners here. But I have kind of heard that skindapsis are not hanging plants. They're climbing plants. So that would also be another reason it would start to run. So maybe I will try training this up a blank or something and see if it starts to shingle. Because that would be really fun. So, yeah. And then right next to that is the only fern that I've been able to keep alive. And it's not the best looking. But it's alive. And it is a blue star fern. I believe, or blue foots fern or something. I think it needs a water. It has some crispy leaves in there, but that's okay. And then all of this right here trails all the way down the coat rack and is this beautiful, large Hoya crimson, no, Hoya carno, no. Hoya pubicalic splash. That's the name. And just look at this leaf. Sorry the lighting is terrible here, but yeah. That's just a beautiful, that's like super splash. <laughs> is that a thing? I don't know. Probably a made up thing. So there are a lot of nice splashy leaves here in the back, but yeah. And it started growing up here, but it hasn't gave me a ton of new leaves since it's started to climb. So, I don't know. But there's that guy. And we'll just go back the other way. Right next to that is um, my mother plant, my philodendron micans on a totem. Yeah, but when I first got this, I took quite a bit of cuttings and I've uh, been propagating it. And it's already started to grow out new shoots so that's fun and just look at these roots like what is going on with that aerial root it's like fuzzy it's very bizarre <laughs> so there's that and then to another Hoya just hanging on another pot here is a Hoya Wai variegata. What is it labeled as? Hoya kentiana variegata. It's thirsty, but it's cute. And then another Hoya hanging on another pot here is this Hoya crinkle eight. I do think there's some Hoya Chelsea in there, but this side of the plant is crinkle eight. So that's a fun one. And all of this is splash. That's not pests or anything. Like that's that's splashy leaves. So let's just get into these plants down here on the shelf. Some of them are kind of sad, so no judgment. Dendron White Wizard. I've had this for quite a while. Over, I mean, over a year, for sure. Um, it's had thrips. It's had spider mites. It's had it all. It has a lot of thrip damage. 
which kind of sucks because the leaves just started giving me like actual variegation and of course then I get thrips. So that kind of sucks and I think it has spider mites right now. So yeah, it has started dropping some of its older leaves like the dry petals are still here, but for the most part it's doing okay. Right now I just have it in some gross dirty water. I need to switch that out and top it off. But for the most part, it's doing okay. I have been thinking about cutting it up because it is quite a long plant. Like it goes all the way down to the base of this cup and then, you know, out the cup, obviously. So I'll probably cut it up soon because some of these bottom leaves are going to, I don't know. And right here is just a uh, Raphidophora tetrasperma. Oh, here's a really sad plant. Staghorn fern that I got for $5. And it's thirsty. Yay. A lot of dead leaves. With some hair. <laughs> this is going to be such a fun video, guys. Um, this is, what is this? It's a begonia. What is the name? I can't remember the name of this, but it's pretty. It's a cane begonia. It's like constantly blooming for some reason, even though the leaves keep falling off. So that's fun. I really need to repot this guy. It's still in its original potting medium, which isn't the best always from Costa Farms, but it's pretty, I think it's chia pens. Now that's just coming to me. I think it's chia pens. Begonia chia pens? I don't know. But it's pretty. It has pink on it. It has spots on it. It has like pink veining. And then the leaves are almost like a minty green. It's really nice. I hope you can see that. But it's really cute. So here is a Syngonium albo that I just have rooting in water and it's rooted and it's just kind of chilling in here and here is a syngonium what is this pink splash um that's just also rooting in water this guy got thrips too a lot of these plants got had thrips so there is some damage um but for the most part they are recovering and it's still continuing with these like tri leaves. This one has four leaves and it's still like so little. So that's really fun. Yeah. So there's just that situation. This is just gonna pre, I'm gonna put them all on the table and then I can clean the shelf off. It's gonna be great. I'm sure my bun is ridiculous. I just had to put it up because my, it was just sweating. So this guy is, I don't know why he's doing this with his new leaf, <laughs> but he's kind of like, I don't want to be um, facing forward. I want to roll over. I don't know. So this is my philodendron squam squam bleh, squamiferum or squ squamiferum. I don't necessarily have a stutter, but sometimes I do. Um, and it's growing. I've had this guy for a while as well and since put it in water and it started doing a lot better. So, cause like before, like I was getting new leaves, but they weren't like fuzzy and now, and now the fuzz is there. So that's really cool. And they're nice and red as well. So, yeah, I don't know. This guy just never unfurled. <laughs> and then I down in the bottom, I just have some Marble Queen Pothos cuttings because I didn't know where else to put them. I have like a Hoya propagation situation. I just have some regular Carnosa in here so, and some uh, Chelsea cuttings. They're all rooted. Um, I just need to pot them up and sell them maybe. You give this guy a drink too. Here is one of, <laughs> I guess, the only one that's left that's healthy and rooted <laughs> of my Monstera Thai constellations. 
This is just a single mode cutting and this is the first, this is the first leaf that it gave me, which I think is really nice. And it's really pretty and beautiful. So it's just growing from this single node here. Hopefully we'll get a new leaf soon. This, this is a ant plant. Um, it has like a little codex bulb down here. And um, it's in this really ridiculous planter. But I didn't know what else to do with it as a tray. So we're using that as a tray. Here's the name. If that will focus. I don't know, but if you have any care tips about ant plants, let me know. So here is my silver sword, or one of my silver swords. Um, it's just chilling out. I have this, you know, rainbow flag that I got for my sister's wedding. I have one of my big monster as well. I just like them. So I just stuck them in some plants. Um, this guy, he's just, you know, doing its own thing. I'm sure he would grow a lot better if I actually had him on a moss pole instead of just the stick. But this leaf is quite large. And it's not quite hard enough yet, but it does have some damage. So, I don't know. Begonia maculata whitey eye. Um, I just have it chilling out here in its original nursery pot and soil. And I really need to get rid of that crap. So... Someday, and it's in a broken Costa Farms pot. So that's fun. <laughs> and I think it might be getting too much sun. This is an east facing window, too, by the way. Okay, so last plant for this side of the room is probably going to be a failed propagation of this Monstera Thai constellation. Um,. It just is not doing the best. The, the stem there is starting to wrinkle. There was a growth point here and that has died off. And this leaf is just looking pretty floppy. So I feel like it might have root rot or something. I really should just take it out of this and try to save what I can. Okay, so now we are on to this side of the room. This is a south-facing window, but I do have a big tree there kind of blocking a lot of the light. So right here on this couch thing, I have a couple of succulents. Oh, there was the tag. This guy I got for $11. Here is the name. It's grown from seed, and I just thought that was really cool. And I asked the lady that was working, because I got this out of Botanical Gardens in Illinois when I was on my plant trip. And I asked her how old this plant was, and she said, well, it's older than me, because it's looked this way since I've worked here, and I've worked here for eight years, is what she said. So <laughs> I thought it was really cool, and the fact that it was $8, I mean, it's such a, it's such a cool-looking plant, or for $11, I think it's such a cool-looking plant. So, and it was in this pot. I probably would have never picked this pot up myself, but I thought it was fun. Leaves are super cute and veiny, and then they almost have like purpley edges to them. So, yeah, there's that guy. And right next to that is a super neglected Aeonium that I really just, I need to do something with it. But it's beautiful. Oh, and it has mealybugs. Yay! <laughs> okay, right next to that I just have this little stool. I have some sort of a jungle cactus or something. And another silver sword. A silver sword propagation in water. And then here is some more of that begonia that is just constantly blooming in here. I don't know... It loves water and south southern exposure. <laughs> How is it not fried? I can't tell you. And then some more uh, Mikan's cuttings. And then here is like this birthday present that my mom got me that I'm kind of neglecting a little bit. It's just a succulent arrangement. 
And she's like, you have to have it because it has turtles in it. And I love turtles. And so she got it for me. And um, it needs some water. And it needs to be cleaned out. Look at all those dead leaves in there. But it's cute. So there's that. Okay, so then right next to that is this little corner. I would really love to get like some sort of a shelf like a short shelf so then I could put taller plants on it uh, or like a dresser even or what are those called buffets I don't know to have like space for some taller plants but to still like you know raise them up off the ground does that make any sense I don't know more surface area than the floor in this corner that's what I want um, for more plants, obviously. Oh, I forgot about this guy. This is, um, what are you? A jungle cactus, uh, fishbone or rickrack cactus. That's just kind of chilling out. It hasn't grown since I've brought it home. It chills right there in the windowsill hooked up on the, <laughs> on the frame there. Okay, back to this corner. So right here is... A Monstera and Sonii. I believe it's a narrow form. It's kind of hard to tell with the leaves get mature. But if we look down here, I believe it's a narrow form. Or maybe it's just the regular. I don't know. Let me know what you think it is. Also, I love these leaves that aren't fenestrated. There's some bigger ones like this. Like, what is that? Like, there's a whole vine of not fenestrated leaves. And they're so big. I just love that part of it. I don't know. But this guy also had thrips. Not as bad. Um, so there's some damage there. I also got this at a Home Depot. Or not a Home Depot, a Menards. Like the monster in my last room. In my living room. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. The leaves are super pillowy. I don't know what... To, I just really like this plant. It, the mature leaves are beautiful. Like, I just want to like take a nap on them or something. Like, ugh, look at that. It is growing too tall for its totem so now I'm afraid these leaves are gonna get tiny I need to like extend them or cut them or something but they're just massive like look at that look at that leaf that's crazy that's beautiful so there is one of my many Monstera Edinsonii's. And right below that is this stupid plant that I shouldn't have bought, but I did because I love it. It is a, what are you called? A rubber tree? Oh, it's the yellow one. I don't know what it's called. But it doesn't like me and rubber trees or ficus have never liked me, but I wanted it because it was yellow. And so I bought it, and <laughs> this happened because I underwatered it. But it looks like it's trying to, like, branch now, and this stem has no leaves on it. I don't know, but it's just beautiful. So ignore my squeaky floor but it's beautiful here is just some more heart leaf lemon lime heart leaf that's falling out of its jar there just chilling not getting any sun <laughs> and then right next to that is a philodendron moonlight upright moonlight the leaves don't really unfurl um but yeah, it's just chilling. This is the plant that I bought to do my switch over, how to switch over LECA video. And if you guys are interested in that, I'll leave it linked down below. 
and I was like, oh, we should pot it or up pot it to see how the roots are doing in a couple of months. Never did that. So maybe we'll do that soon. And then the last plant in the room is over here in this crappy corner. Again, working on a house. So don't judge. Philodendron Birkin, that's been living in Lacka for way too long. And um, oh, wait, I think I up potted this, so it hasn't been that long. It needs some water and it's been pushing out all white leaves and they last a little bit and then they die. I put it in this dark corner to pray that it is similar to the Philodendron Florida Ghost, that the leaves will start getting greener with the lower light and they are kind of turning a little bit green. And this one has some green on it. So hopefully it comes back, but he just chills out there next to my grandma and me as a baby. Yay. So that is, got all my plants on my table now so I can clean off that grossness. Okay, so I tried my best to not make this a crazy long video like I was trying to do in the living room video, but it's still probably going to be like a 20 minute video. So sorry about that. And well, if you made it to this point, you're definitely probably my family. <laughs> so hi, I hope this was enjoyable for you because obviously you just love my videos laughing at me and stuff. Um, no, it's okay. I'm pretty ridiculous, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm going to clean off this table back here and put all these plants back and probably spray them down for spider mites and mealybugs. Yay! So the next video will be my grow tent tour, and that is a hot mess. I put a picture of it on my Instagram the other day. <laughs> just don't know oh I mean the plants in there that are doing great are doing great and then there's just like a dead anthurium right next to it and it's been there for a while and I just have yet to deal with it so I need to deal with that first but I'm also going to be gone the rest of this week I'm going on a adventure again thanks to all the new subscribers you guys are awesome and welcome I Hope you guys stick around because I really enjoy making these videos even though I'm kind of ridiculous but yeah it's fine all right guys I'm done rambling for today thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in my next video oh also like and subscribe I don't think I said that all day okay I'm done goodbye so I tried to not make this as a super super long video as as a little